Mixed martial arts fighter Jimmy Jeanette is a man with a checkered past. There was a lot of devastation in my life. I mean, what happened was, is I got exposed to some really powerful drugs at the age of 16. I mean, I remember being in, in prison twice where they would have me in like a, a three by three by six foot box. And I didn't know when it was gonna let me out. You know, I mean, I didn't. And I got a touch of claustrophobia and I'm a big dude. I stand almost six foot eight, really. That's powerless. 10 years ago, when he was released from prison, he decided to turn his life around. He tattooed the words checkered past on his back and set out to mentor young people so they can avoid the mistakes that he made. With Jimmy's drive um, and all the support that he gets from the community, just by word of mouth, once that we're able to um, really establish ourselves in schools and stuff, one thing's going to lead to another, and who knows what the end game is. Who wants to do martial arts? Martial arts. The basketball hoop. No. Martial arts on the basketball court. Court, coach. Yep. Yep. Martial arts on the basketball court. Whoever wants to participate, it's going to be fun. Yeah, whoever wants to participate. Checker Pass ain't about me. It is not about me. It's about the message. It's about getting that message out to those kids. Um, you know, I really, the main thing that I really want to do is I want to raise drug prevention awareness. You know, and I'm pretty committed to, actually, I'm not pretty committed. I'm committed to that for life. All right, guys, let's do the torso right here. So there's going to be the thing that's most important. When we run these little clinics and things like that, we just, we, just, we just set up and let them come out and just have some fun, have some activities. I've got other people, other personalities that they might gravitate to. I bring them out um, because then, it's, like I said, it's not all about me. Let's widen up your stance a little bit. Are you new? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Bring this foot forward. You're right-handed, right? Okay, you want a little, little buoyant, a little bend in the knees. Okay, now listen, hands up here, here. Here, make a little dance. Go ahead. Just a little dance. There you go. They come out, they get to be encouraged. They get exposed to the martial arts. They also get, we mentor and we talk to them at the end. Is that time? All right, the two things I want to say to you guys, you guys have heard us say it before, it's going to really carry you far in life. There's two things. Does anybody remember what that is? <coughs> choices. Making good choices. There you, there you go. Hanging with good quality people. You guys feeling good right now? You got your heart rate up, a little bit of adrenaline. You can have that for the rest of your life, okay? Wait. Great job. Yeah. All right, high five. High five, everybody. Yeah. All right, yeah. yeah. When we talk to these young people, um, you know, we know, well, we know that who's gonna become a fighter? Probably not a single one of them. But that's one thing we do talk about. Hey, it could be soccer, it could be school, whatever you guys are into. You know, it could be, school of journalism one day, you know, whatever you're passionate about. But the number one thing cutting down kids is, I know it in my heart, I've seen it, is drugs and alcohol. Jimmy is currently recovering from an injury and is not fighting today, but he regularly turns up at MMA events like this to get his message out to kids who might be watching. All right, Jimmy Jeanette in, in the cage here with us. Tell us about Checkered Past MMA Outreach. All right, everybody, a little nervous right now. I'm a part-time part amateur fighter from Eugene, Oregon. My message is to the young people, first and foremost, making good choices and hanging with good company. With the adults, I'm a clean and sober man, uh, one day at a time. And with the adults, I just want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys, coaches, teachers, mentors, Anybody, talk to them about drugs and alcohol. That stuff's really changed a lot of destinies out there. And that's about it. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the fight. Jimmy Jeanette, thank you. In the future, Jimmy wants to build his organization to run regular clinics and perhaps open a low-cost gym where kids can come and train and be mentored. 
At the root of it all for me is martial arts. And martial arts to me, there's a term called uh, katsujin no ken. And what that means is it's the good of martial arts. And that's what I try to focus on. Just the humbleness, the teamwork that's involved, um, the hard work. I really feel a likeness to the samurai. That's who I really gravitate to out of all the warrior cultures in the world. And they just, they, they were all about community. You know, they were fierce, fierce combatants, but they were all about community. And I just want to make a positive impression on the community. You know, it's not about Xing out the past or anything like that. It's just on my heart.